Hello and welcome to Dolby Forest, which is hosting round two of the National Mountain Bike Series. We are lucky enough today to be joined by a guy, fair to say, has won a race or two in his time, including 10 times national champion, multiple podiums at World Cups, and a World Cup winner in 2009. Jeffka Bush, riding for Maxis Rocky Mountain. Jeff has kindly given up some time to do a masterclass on the technical aspects of the course. We have Harry, Joe and Hannah, are the lucky candidates are going to be subjected to the rigours of the course. Well, Rory Gill, I mean, looking at this now, is it a leap of faith or is there sort of more lines that can be multiple choices and safer lines and faster lines? What's your opinion? Well, I think the biggest thing, you just want to, if you're a little hesitant and haven't ridden it, you want to come and take a look. Because when you're riding up to it, you, you can't see over the edge, so you want to have an idea about where you want to hit the lip, and then it's, it's kind of like, Dropping in on a skateboard onto a, a ramp, you have to mm -hmm. kind of commit and uh, with your weight into it, and then after that, it's pretty simple mm -hmm. as long as you don't touch your brakes until you're down into the transition. Yeah, and it's like if you yeah. stay too far back, like on a skateboard, it's just gonna you're gonna have no control. So basically, you're saying if it's too far back, the front's gonna come up and yeah. lift up, which is even worse. <laughs> One thing I've noticed watching here, a few guys tend to get a back wheel kick, which is quite severe. Any recommendations to maybe sort of stop that and soften the kick? Uh, I think, well, that's uh, probably committing your weight so you're, you're in a, not getting bumped too much on the front wheel and yeah, just practicing getting your legs out and around the saddle and yeah. kind of avoiding that, avoiding that contact bodies, uh, to kind of the saddle. Yeah, if we get bumps you, can Jeff to have a go and show yeah. us how to do it. Any questions before Jeff goes? Anything sort of strikes you that? Uh, no, so you're not going to touch your chain ring on there. No, so. I think uh, on, on my bike, yeah, you can just Is uh, it roll hard right. as it looks? Yeah. Is it hard as it looks? No, I think it's it's more intimidating. <laughs> but there's really... The main thing is you have to make it up in your mind and commit to just yeah. rolling it. I think adrenaline in racing, though, you tend to yeah. go over stuff. You don't know what it you is. Just, you don't look at the same lines. You don't analyse when you're racing as much, do you, really? No, but you definitely want to be comfortable in a section. You don't want to be thinking or about the whole five minutes before you get here, yeah. trying to psych up yourself yeah. when you're in the race. You just want to be... chainring marks for where to aim for. Yeah. Well that's worry Gil. So I, I mean what lessons have been learned there? What, what have you learned? You know? uh, not to do it if you don't think you can make it. Not to kind of fully commit to it. Yeah. yeah and like if when you're going over it, like carry speed into it, not not just go over it slow. Cause yeah. Yeah, you have to be comfortable and make sure you're set up, and then yeah, have that commit that body weight 100%. Because if you hesitate and uh, get back and fall once, then that's uh, enough to make it safer just to go around. It's in the race, you want to be not have the worry about where you go. You want to be comfortable. And yeah. Yeah. Be able to ride it yeah. every time or not.